The Sea Child by Eliza Cook. He crawls to the cliff and plays on the brink, where every eye but his own would shrink. No music he hears but the billows' noise, and shells and weeds are his only toys. No lullaby can the mother find to sing and to rest like the moaning wind. And the louder it wails and the fiercer it sweeps, the deeper he breaths and the sounder he sleeps. And now his wandering feet can reach a rock tracks of a desolate beach, creeping about like a tritonant to find the horns of a crab and shrimp. He climbs with none to guide or help to the furthest ridge of slippery kelp, and his bowed hard clouds while he stands and mocks the seamew's cry on the jutting rocks. Few years have wont, and now he stands, bareheaded on the shelving sands, about his moored, but his young hands cowp right well with a twisted cable rope. He frees the craft, she kisses the tide, the boys climb to beaten side. She drifts, she floats, he shouts with glee, his soul half claimed its ride on the sea. Tis vain to tell him the howling breath rides up the waters with wreck and death. He'll say there's more fear and pain on the plague-ridden earth and the storm-lashed main. T'would be as wise to spend thy power in trying to lure the bee from the flower. The lark from the sky, or the worm from the grave, as in weaning the sea-child from the wave.